Hello, my lovely friends. I'm Tetsi. This is my friend Gelio. And we're here eating on the beach, on the beach of Greece. It's called Orfinio Beach. And we are having some excellent Greek food. I'll show it to you. Look, this is green beans or as you call it, string beans. And, um, but it's not really string beans, you see? It's very thick, uh, fat kind of bean, you see? It's a really big, thick bean. But when you taste it, it's so amazing. It's so delicious. It is so tender, it melts in your mouth completely melt in your mouth. So we're doing a little mukbang today and we're going to have a little chat. You can't really see my face, can you? We're going to have a little chat today about Greece and all of its good points and bad points because I'm very impressed with Greece. I wish I could show you the um, the beach. It's right across. It's right across from me. I'll show you. See, I'm right on the beach. We should probably have the uh, camera here so people can see the beach while we enjoy the food. So, I hope you can see me better now. Anyway, um, Orfinio Beach is a Bulgarian stomping ground. It is absolutely full of Bulgarians. Uh, you can almost say it's like a little Bulgaria here. Hmm? Oh, okay. Sorry. You can't hear me. <laughs> I'm here with my little hat. amazing so let me know in the comments if you've ever been to Greece or if you plan on visiting Greece because the first time I visited Greece I didn't come here I came to different places and like finally we we found that this place we enjoy the most because it's I don't know how to say it it's the most down-to-earth um, not expensive not very fancy schmancy. Not expensive. 80 euro a, a room per night. 80 euros per night, which is not that bad. To him, that's bad. But to me, compared to the prices that they command in America, or the prices that they command in uh, Monaco, Monaco, or France, not that bad but you can actually find really cheap accommodation because last last summer we were here there was a Bulgarian host who hosted us for 30 euro a night and he bought a house down the street in uh, Asperval the beach he lives there with his wife uh, and he turned a little like storage room into a bungalow and he's renting it out for uh, 30 euro and he's also renting um, rooms in his house out to different like foreigners and he puts the Bulgarian people in the little bungalow because we're Eastern Europeans it doesn't matter for us like where we stay we're not that picky right but like the foreign tourists they put up in the in the house and it's it's really it's it's cute I mean I enjoyed it but I probably wouldn't be back there because it's away from the tourist area it's away from the center it's a it's not even a walking distance to the Asperval at the center it's a little bit farther and um, I just 
I just like it here better in Orfino Beach. Um, there is a Magirafta restaurant, which is where we are right now. And what that means is like um, it's a, a buffet for ready foods, foods that are already ready already. And you just pick whatever you want. That's a veggie. I don't know what it is. Salad. It's not a salad. It's a um, like steamed. cooked steamed vegetables. This right here, they call it a beef tech. It's a it's like a beef patty. Mm. Oh my god! Just as I remember it from last summer. Is it spiced meat? No. It's not glued meat like they do in Bulgaria. In my country, this right here will be ground meat mixed with like, it would be mixed with like flour. And then you would make it into a patty and you would put seasoning and then you can eat it. Well, I don't like that because it becomes very bouncy and it becomes very, um, not so tasty, right? But this, it's actually just pure beef meat. Like, I'll just break it for you. See, it falls apart when you break it. I mean, you, you don't get the quality that you get here. You will never get it in Bulgaria. Is it good for vegetarians? It's good for vegans too. Mostly for vegans. <laughs> I'm an ex-vegan, by the way. I was a vegan for 10 years, 10 or 11 years in back in when I was living in the United States. I heard you are also Britarian, Britarian. I was a Britarian, yeah, I still am. Still, uh, I still am, I just don't practice. No, I'm just kidding. I, I never practiced Britarianism, I just believe in it. And Britarianism is... Um, the practice of living without eating food so if you want to look it up it's also called living on life unbelievable oh, the juice from these beans is just astonishing as ratatouille because it's just stewed vegetables and it's mainly what ratatouille is um, they put it into a in, into the oven in a fry in a in a baking pan you can tell I'm not much of a cook because I don't know the names of the of the cooking ware <laughs> oh that was a zucchini by the way this right here, this is an eggplant. It's also delicious. Mm. Just melts in your mouth, literally. Most literally. Here in Greece, we enjoy several foods very, very much. And I'll tell you what they are. They are beetroot which is what you call in the United States, beets. Um, okay. The beets are cut up into like cubes and then they boil them or bake them or what they do with them, like, and then they season them. I don't know what they do with them here in Greece, but they are absolutely delicious. And then you eat them in like cubes. Like, imagine this would be the beet. The cubes are about this size, and then you eat it. So that's how you eat beets, beets. 
then there is also another thing called corti, which is basically like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like seasonal greens. And they have been sort of blanched or steamed or cooked or fried, like different methods of preparing them. Uh, but they come in like a, a dish like this. And it's just like greenery. Almost looks like spinach, but like just spinach, right? So they'll have like mustard greens in a dish like this. They'll have like spinach greens, or they'll have um, like a sea sea green. I don't I don't know what it's called and and if it's edible in in America or what, but they eat it here and it's picked from the sea literally so that's another type of horti so um, i guess you could just say greenery horti horticulture <laughs> so so those are interesting things in greece you could you could order of course the fish is always absolutely fresh delicious and sumptuous and um pretty much anything you eat and an order is just is gonna arrive very tasty not like Bulgaria in Bulgaria it's hit or miss but here they really take pride in their food and they always make sure they prepare it right like this eggplant it just melted in my mouth and I ate it up and I'm sorry I didn't give you any I didn't leave any for him but you have peppers, you can eat the peppers. But where are all the olives? There's no olives? Why didn't you order some olives? I think it's um, uh, it's obvious. Um, everything must come with olives here in Greece. <laughs> he loves olives, by the way. Jelio does. I don't eat olives, so I don't miss anything right now. Anyway, behind is Bulgarian people. Every, everything is Bulgarian. Even the locals speak Bulgarian language. Bulgarians are everywhere. In Turkey, Istanbul, Azirne, Greece, all of the different towns are covered. All of the touristy areas covered in Bulgarians. Just taking over. The real estate offices. All the people that work in, the, in real estate here in Greece They've hired all Bulgarian people. So you go into the office, you can't even find a Greek person. It's all Bulgarian. It's crazy. I never would have thought or imagined that it would ever come to this. Okay, so what I'm eating now is the juice from um, Greek salad. Let me show you. So the Greek salad is just cucumber, tomato, onion, and a plate of cheese but not like feta cheese but like is it a feta cheese yeah i think it's a feta cheese actually the uh, like they call it a um, plate it's just like a boxy cut feta cheese piece and you eat it they didn't give us any here no, doesn't seem like have, have some cheese what is it? is it? This is a different kind of cheese, though. Yeah. Is this the same? It's the tzatziki. Oh, tzatziki. Okay, I don't know what tzatziki is, but mm -hmm. I'm going to show it. Can you explain what tzatziki is? Sure, tzatziki. Tzatziki is cucumber. Cucumber with um, mm, like um, yogurt? No. Yogurt, cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something me... between yogurt and cheese. Mm -hmm. So it kind of reminds me of tarator, which is a, a milk soup. Okay. This is like sour cream or cream cheese with, um, wait, is this cucumber inside? Yeah, sure. So like, um, like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Like you take the cucumber and you do like this on the little grinder, you ground it up. No, 
no, you don't ground it up. You just make it into like very thin slices on your little machine thingy. Okay, sorry. If you can't hear me, I don't know, sorry. Anyway, this is a ziki. <laughs> this is the first time I, because <laughs> I'm not a, a dairy food eater, and this is the first time I um, taste it. And it's delicious. But you're not supposed to eat meat with dairy. You're not supposed to mix them. You're supposed to eat them separately. It's not kosher to eat them together. Okay. So, it's not halal. No, wait. Halal is a different term. Halal is where you meat is prepared without the blood in it. But kosher is when you don't mix certain foods, okay? Like dairy and meat. You're not supposed to mix them. This one is a uh, potato. Hmm. Comes with the beef deck. I don't know what the, if beef deck comes from beef steak or what, but. I don't know. They make it so, so, so good. So good. Look at it. Like, it's irresistible. You just can't. Like, I was dreaming of this almost all year. Since last summer. And now I'm here. My dreams come true. <laughs> so, dream big. Your dreams will come true. Can I have... Napkins, please. No. Can you go and bring me some? Do they have napkins inside? No, I. They they don't give you napkins. They don't. What about if you ask for them? I ask. They said wait. Wait. And that's it. Mm -hmm. And then they never came back. Yeah. <laughs> I did not receive. <proceed. laughs> you can always ask, but there's no guarantee you'll ever receive them. Anyway, I'm very sweaty by the way. So it's 40 degrees Celsius out here. And um, it's no wonder I'm sweaty. Don't do that. Uh, you make a, a crash on the streets. <laughs> traffic accident. Yeah. Of course, traffic accident. Yeah, I, we yeah. don't want to do that. But I, I know m many people don't enjoy a hairy woman. So. Okay, I know all of you out there do, but some of some other people don't, so it's not for everybody. This is the beans, by the way. Mm. Oh, this is so good. They don't make this in Bulgaria like that. Um, I'm not sure exactly what. I'm not sure exactly what how they pull the strings out of the string beans because I'm pretty sure there there's strings holding them together on both sides and here you can taste that string but in Bulgaria you have to pull it out of your mouth when you eat this but here they don't exist so is it a hybrid sort of string bean or what? I don't know. Somebody tell me in the comments. So, mister, can you make a second attempt for some napkins, please? Sorry. Second attempt to ask for some napkins to get some napkins for us. Sure. Thank you. Um, another one. Okay, this one I haven't shown you. This is... Ooh. I hope I don't drip. Hang on, I'll show you. Right here, can you see it? It is okra. Okra with chicken. I'm not sure if Jello ate all the okra. Oh my gosh, wow. That's an achievement, thank you, yes. So I'm not sure if Jello ate all the okra, but the, 
the thing was full of okra and now there's no okra in my in my dish. No, no. Did you eat all the okra from here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's why it's missing. Okay. <coughs> so, if you don't know what okra is, this is the okra. And it's very slimy, but it's delicious nonetheless. And then there's the chicken. Um, it's been prepared with like tomato, tomato we part. Mmm. Mmm. I'm enjoying this very much. So with regards to properties and prices, prices are very high here um, compared to Bulgarian standards. Property prices. Last year, we did go looking at some properties and we did find a beach caravan for sale and it was 90,000 euro. And we thought that that was an outrageous price. Of course, the yard was on the bigger side, which we enjoyed that. Probably it's sold by now. We'll go ask in a few minutes to see if that property has sold. But basically, it was just a caravan with two tiny little rooms and a big yard like like sandy yard like you can't plant anything in it except cactuses and things like that or desert plants and that's okay i don't mind it because i just enjoy bigger yards but then what do you do with this property when you're uh, 300 kilometers away, you know. How many kilometers are we from Bulgaria? Mm, I think around 600. Oh, 600. Six, seven hundred. I'm way off. 700. That's almost a thousand. From our home, hey! hometown. Oh, wow, the lady is getting heated. I basically don't enjoy these oily stew sauces, so I'm just gonna donate it to Gelio. And he has graciously accepted the donation. Oh, um, that's another thing I haven't shown you. These are stuffed peppers and a stuffed tomato. So I'm, I'm basically, oh, there's, okay, let me just show you. I think they're stuffed with rice. This is what it looks like. I just, <laughs> it just fell apart. Okay, so here it is. Stuffed pepper. And when you open it like that, it's rice on the inside. But I don't eat rice. And I don't eat um, anything made with flour. So this is why and I also don't eat oily things it's part of my new diet so I'm just gonna give this oily thing over to Gelio and uh, I'm sure he'll enjoy it did you try the peppers mm, yeah did you like them no oh he did not why is that? Can you explain why you didn't like it? Not your cup of tea, huh? No. These sauces are so hot. Let's go to the beach. Uh, well, we're not finished eating yet, but yeah, next trip stop will be the beach, which is right across from us. Um, but I also wanted to share some more thoughts on Greece. Um, and just express my delightful surprise when we found this this area, this town, and when we found the wonderful people and the wonderful food here. I can definitely live here. 
I can definitely retire here. I can definitely um, visit here every summer. I just see myself being around this area because we just, this whole area, we just absolutely enjoyed last summer and this summer too. But it's our first day here today, so we're gonna, we have lots more to explore. So the towns are Aspervalta, Orfinio, Stavros Beach, and the last town, what was the name of it? Do you remember? No. But they're, they're sort of like located in a, uh, in a row. The first one being Cavalla. For Cavalla, Aspervalta, Orfinio, Stavros, and then there's another small town at the end of that like lagoon and I would just say that Stavros Beach has is the best beach I've ever been to because I don't know how to explain it it's like it's not developed it's small it's not it doesn't have too many people it's quiet we'll see how it is now because we're in season last year we came out of season here but yeah there'll be more people for sure this time but still it's small it is quiet it is the water is calm which means you could just lay in it just like a bathtub but it, you're in the beach there's no waves no nothing the water is crystal clear blue it is just divine like absolutely absolutely divine like you can fall asleep in the water i'll try and vlog something from there uh do, do, come to Greece. Do, do, they, Greece. do they now allow bathing suit content in youtube mm, i guess if you blur it oh my god uh, but yeah, don't go to Croatia, come to Greece, come to Bulgaria, go in Pakistan. Hmm? Never been to Pakistan. No sense, no sense. <laughs> No, just Greece and Bulgaria is enough. I mean, they even make the chicken delicious here. Like, how is that possible? Like, the chicken is more delicious than any other chicken. How is that possible? I don't, I don't know. know. Did you try this chicken? No. He's I, supposed to be a vegetarian. I think it's not possible. He's it's, supposed to be vegan. It's by the way. impossible. It's even impossible. How? Why is it impossible? I've seen you eat meat, like different kinds of other meat. Like, why is it impossible? Why not try this? Not today. When not in Rome. Today. Not today. Okay. You know what they say when in Rome? Do as the Romans do. But he doesn't. So he doesn't get to experience everything culture can offer. I eat last night uh, fish soup. I think that's quite enough. Mm, we did, yeah. We enjoyed a delicious shrimp and fish soup. Like um, fish chowder like the Greek version and we had it at the um, at the um, Alexandros what was the name of that place campground Camping. camping ground now I'm very disappointed from this visit at the Alexandros camping ground in um, in the village of Nea Carvali near Kavala because the prices have doubled maybe because we're in season and they put us up in a bungalow with the shared bathroom but the shared bathroom was absolutely disgusting okay there was no toilet paper there was no um there's no soap we had to go and beg and ask for soap and um like they have a really fancy schmancy restaurant inside the camp camping grounds 
However, the lady doesn't maintain that shared bathroom, but it's not just one, it's many shared bathrooms. So it doesn't make sense, like paying a lot of money for restaurant food, but like you go to your hotel room and you can't even go to the toilet properly. Like it was very iffy, very iffy to say the least. What, what about your animal? Did you uh, manage good proper uh, animal no. in this? Because you know, you know, guys. I do a daily enema. It's my it's my health practice. And in order to do a daily enema, you must have hot water, right? To mix it up and to make a nice warm water mixture to do your enema properly. Well, guess what? I did it with cold water because oh, the bathroom did not have warm or hot water. So not just toilet paper, not just soap, but just not even warm water. So how do you take a shower? How do you clean yourself? Like, it just makes no sense. It makes no sense. The price was 4 euro a night, which is about $50 per night. I know it's cheap, but for the same money, you can find something really good. Uh, somewhere yes. else so I'm not gonna be back sorry I'm not gonna be back there anymore I think you felt it the same too yeah, it's better if we slept on the beach on the or beach in the car, or at the car. It would have been the same absolutely the same I mean except we had a, we had an AC unit in the room which is which was the only benefit for the money that we paid and then we had a bed to sleep on and the roof over our head but that's about it so what else did you want to know about greece let us know um we we considered looking at properties in halkidiki as well because halkidiki is another stomping ground for bulgarians and um they seem to have covered all the best places in greece or all the closer, sort of closer places to here, to Bulgaria. However, in Halkidiki, the real estate prices are even higher than here. So there's no chance there. And supposedly Greece had like a crash, economy crash. Like, if that was the case, then why are the properties so expensive? If you had an economy crash, you want to boost up your real estate or your um, economy, then you want to start selling at lower prices to stimulate the economy, like to stimulate investors and stuff, but Halkidiki is not all beachy area, there are some mountainous areas, and, and even they are expensive too so anyway hope you enjoyed this vlog um Paracalo Evkaristo, that means thank you in Greek. Um, Paracalo means. Uh, we'll figure it out. Kalimera means. Kalimera, Kalispera. Kalimera means hello. Kalispera means. I don't know what. Something similar. Um, Paracalo means something. And um, yeah, all those words mean something. Okay, so you can figure it out what it means. So, because not, I can't figure it out every time for you. I try. Anyway, hope you enjoyed yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments. We love you, and look forward to seeing you again in a few days from Greece again. Bye. Love you guys. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok.